Digging a pond, digging a pond, digging a trout pond, digging a pond. Digging a pond, digging a pond, digging a pond, digging a pond, digging a trout pond. Digging a pond, digging a pond, digging a pond, digging a trout pond. Digging a pond, digging a pond, digging a trout pond. Digging a pond, 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 digging a trout pond. Digging a pond, 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 digging a pond. For my trout, digging a pond for my trout. Digging a trout pond for my trout. Digging a pond, digging a pond, digging a pond, digging a pond. Digging a trout pond. Digging a trout pond. All right. So obviously this is not going to work. One man with a shovel is not going to dig a trout pond. Thankfully, I have a better idea. Let's go check it out. All right guys, how does that look? Does that look like a pond? Well, it is a pond. It's just not deep enough. It needs some work. So the idea is to get an excavator in here and clear it out even more so that it's suitable for trout. But I don't know what it takes to get a trout pond going, but thankfully there are experts who do. So we're gonna go over to Linden Fish Hatcheries. We're gonna meet up with Clark and we're gonna get a tour of the hatchery there and he's gonna let us know exactly what we need to get this pond fully operational. Hey guys, I'm out at the Trout Hatchery. We're at the Linden Trout Hatchery. This is near New Dundee. They do accept guests. If you guys wanna come fishing, you can come fish up at the pond. You're gonna pay a small fee. You're gonna be able to catch some fish. But I wanna know exactly what it's gonna to take to get our pond rocking. So we're gonna get a tour by Clark this is not open to the public, I'm sorry. You're gonna to have to look at it through my eyes, but we're gonna see how we get from little tiny trout egg to brood stock. And they've got some huge brood fish in here. So if we put them in our pond and we let them stay there for about four or five years, they're gonna become massive, massive fish. So we're gonna find out exactly what it takes to get our pond rocking. It smells like fish in here, which it should. There's lots of fish in here. All right, so we're just coming up to uh, what do you call these, egg stage? Sack fry. Sack fry. So they're really tiny, tiny, tiny. They actually don't even look like they should be swimming, but they're, what, they're connected to an egg sack still? Yeah. And they're trying to feed off that little egg sack. So once they get off the egg sack stage. They're gonna start to eat very, very small feet. It's basically the same consistency as dust on the surface of the water, just because they have such a small mouth and immune system. A regular trout would probably be feeding on insects at that point or algae or whatever. A yeah, little phytoplankton, like little bugs that would actually eat the algae, so they're smaller than the algae itself. These are, they're about that big now, so they're they're starting to feed on the dust? Yeah, so actually in the water itself, you can see some of that dust on the surface. So these fish are, we call them swim-ups, they're 0.2 of a gram. These 300 gallon tubs will hold about 30,000 fish per unit. They'll be raised up to about two grams, which is like two and a half to three inches in length. And then they'll be moved to the larger rings, which is where they'll be shipped out of. So we got some five month old fish in here. Uh, we said about two, three inches or something like that. Three inches or so. Um, they don't, we don't get to stock until they're about six. You can go smaller than that, but then you always risk of losing a lot of your fish and not surviving. So we got to go a little bit bigger than that. It's a whole maze of buildings. It's a pretty crazy operation. Got, it smells like fish everywhere though. I gotta, I gotta tell you that much. Like I said, that this is not open to the public, so what you're getting to see here is privileged footage. I think some hatcheries will, will show you around, but this one, because of the biohazard that's involved, we had to sign a waiver saying that we hadn't been to any fish fisheries or waters or anything like that because we can't contaminate any of this stuff, especially um, the egg. The eggs are most sensitive, you say? Like, yeah. Or all the way through. Like outside, probably not as much. Yeah, fish actually are born without an immune system. so the very smallest fish, like those sack fry that were just hatching, those fish could get sick incredibly easily. Yeah. So. That's how you get the fish bigger quicker. Yeah. Throw the feed in. The whole idea with having a trout pond is to get your fish in the edible stage as quickly as possible. That's the whole idea. Feed, feed, feed. So there's a lot of research that goes into the feed that they get. The hatchery itself will provide feed. Um, 
obviously you have to pay for it. That's a, it's a whole thing. Aquaculture is a whole thing. It's kind of like farming. You got to put your inputs in, then you get your outputs. There's a bunch of holding tanks in here. One, two, three, four big holding tanks. These are, uh, th these are the six inch fish. So we could stock at this size. Well, we've been talking to Clark a little bit and he's figuring for what we want. We probably want to go nine, uh, nine or 10 inches, nine and a half inches, because that'll give us the best chance of having fish that we can eat. I've caught and eaten nine inch fish. I've eaten six inch fish, so you can't eat them at this size. But when you're growing them and you're spending money on feed, you obviously want to make sure that you're getting the most out of the, out of the fish as possible. So you wouldn't want to eat your stock because you're paying a premium for these guys. This, this area smells like fish too. <laughs> it, it all smells like fish. It smells like your hands after you catch a fish. We're gonna go check out the uh, outdoor storage, these are when the fish get a little bit bigger. So we're starting to get into the point where you're like, yeah, all right, that's a keeper. These are our nines and tens. Edible fish as far as I'm concerned. They, when they stock the northern lakes, they usually put them in, I think, at six. This is a keeper to me. This is probably after the fish has been in the pond or the water or the back lake for about a year. So they put them in the spring. They're catchable to me in about the fall. If you wait till the next year, they end up to be about a pound or so. I gotta, I gotta ask, I gotta find out how big they're gonna be if we leave them in there for a year. I think they'll probably add about a pound a year. That's my guess, let's find out. And if you wanna get 500 fish in there for the sake of having 500 fish, then that's your purchasing decision can be based on that. Yeah. For the best value though, I would suggest a minimum of six inches is what I would encourage. At this state, so best value would be about six inches, you say? Six to nine inches, depending on the food source that's available in the pond itself. If it's very, if there's tons of life in there, then you could go as small as six inches. If there's not very much life, then you'd want to go with a nine inch fish that can catch larger prey, if you want to call it that, such as frogs and things like that. How many, how big will those get after a year if we don't touch them? If we just feed them and leave them? If you just feed them and leave them, those fish should be about a pound by November. Pound so they inch? would be 14 to 16 inches. 14 to 16, and how, mu how much do they weigh now? Uh, right now they'd be about a quarter of a pound. Quarter of a pound, so they'll quadruple in size in the first year, That's and correct. then will they double after that? Or? Probably double it. At that point in time, it's primarily based on nutrition availability. So, so. What, what's the best value? Like, I obviously it matters, depending on the fishery, it matters, mm -hmm. but for us, where, where would we harvest them? Would we harvest them after four months or six months or a year? What I would encourage is you harvest some in the fall just so that you can get some catchable ones out of there, have some fun with it. And then the next summer is when I would probably do the majority of the harvesting. So this is a uh, feed that uh, we use for our smaller fish. These fish are about 25 grams. So that's four to four and a half inches in length. And that uh, that's the smaller side that I'd encourage you to put in your pond um, just because at that size, Typically they will need some additional nutrition and it's also harder for them to find some food sources such as frogs just because they're only, um, they're only four and a half inches long. But they are cheaper, but I'm not sure that they're better value for most applications. And these tanks down here is the size of fish that we actually stock our pond with. So these are ready to catch two pound, two to two and a half pound average fish. That is a perfect size for your barbecue and that's why we try and select that size because it's what the general public enjoys eating the most so and this is going to be the end of your when you're catchable fish in your pond after you've stocked it after a year or so this is the size of fish that you'd be able to catch and the, your ponds are open to the public people can come here and catch these fish absolutely yeah we have ponds that uh, we typically keep a few thousand fish in there at all times and about 5,000 people a year enjoy that uh, angling experience uh, just outside of kitchener waterloo yeah what we've done is actually tried to create an experience that anybody is able to come fishing. We love uh, angling, being able to be accessible for the next generation especially. So we provide rods, unlimited bait. We clean the fish for you so there's fish on ice ready for your barbecue when you leave here. And uh, we try and have a total turnkey package. Our staff are trained to help you have the best fishing experience possible. And our stocked pond is spring fed and stocked with fish from our federally certified hatchery. So you can know that it's the freshest fish possible as well as uh, biosecurity and everything has been done to protect the, the integrity of that product and that experience. Are we going to get skunked? I uh, sure hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. That's true, but we try and help your odds as much as we can. Big football. Look at so those these guys. These fish would be about 30 months old from the size that they were in A. 
So our three, about three years, just two, shy? Two and a half. Two and a half years, right? Yeah. I can't do math. That's okay. Good. If you eat more fish, it gets easier yeah, That's as you right, go. I haven't had fish in a while. <laughs> Today we're gonna fix that. There you go. So in this tank we have approximately 5,000 fish um, and we will go through uh, about 10 to 12,000 fish in that pond this year. Um, just from the general public coming and having a great fishing experience. So there's one stage left after that. If the fish survives this cull, not going into the pond, we get what, breeder? Uh, we would get breeders, that's correct. We can check out the breeders next? Yeah, no, let's take a peek. Are there male and females there? Correct, yeah. yeah. So there's a mixture of male and female in the same tanks. Uh, these fish are between three and six years old, and that's where we get our eggs from. So these are the lucky ones? <laughs> yes, these are the ones that we get to have as our friends as long as uh, the longest possible. Do you get to eat them ever? Do you, or do you, well, you don't get rid of them. No, no, like you, will you, you eat, them? eat them. Yeah. Um, you they're can probably... use them for smoking as well because right. they're like a 10 pound fish. So that's, <laughs> it's a huge fillet. So right? there's 10 like pounds. three or four pound fillets. So there's <laughs> not a small product. Yeah, right? I don't mind a 10 pound fish. That's the fish crack. <laughs> fish crack. <laughs> this is the, uh, the brood diets. This is actually made here in Ontario. So there's a company, Blue Water Feeds that we've been supporting um, with our feed purchases uh, for the last little bit here. They're going crazy when he does the fish, or the food in. They're, they're just jumping up and catching it. Are they big? Yeah, they're Should we fish in that one? That'll be easier if we fish in that one, right? Yeah, I want to fish in this pond, I think. Not, the other one, I think it looks like too much work, but oh, realistically, this one, this one's like uh, shooting fish in a barrel. That one's pretty much like shooting fish in a barrel, which is a little bit more skill. At our facility here, we actually have an in-house breeding program. So we work with the University of Guelph, and uh, we work with them on the genetics front, but we have the ability to produce about uh, seven and a half million eggs per year with our own breeding stock. Um, so I'm going to just show you some of those um, now. These fish are going to range in age from four to six years old. Um, we raise them up to three years old. That's when they'll produce, start producing eggs. After that time, they'll produce eggs for three to four years before they're retired. So um, they'll produce around 4,000 eggs per fish. Um, but uh, we've had pretty good success over the last little bit with these fish for sure. So they're pretty, pretty big fish overall. It'd be about uh, 10 pounds, 10 or 11 pounds. So this one would have produced eggs in uh, December. I'm just gonna get it back into the water there. So it would have produced eggs in December and they typically will spawn at the same time year over year, give or take two or three weeks. And uh, they're fed a specific diet for that reproductive process. It's a lot of taxing on the body itself as with any uh, natural species we want to be able to make sure they have as much nutrients as they need to to have the healthiest offspring possible. So We're gonna head up to the pond now. The real question, I guess, is how many fish do we get to keep? <laughs> oh, you can keep, uh, well, let's keep three or five. Three or five. So you have some options, have a good meal or two or three out of that. Yeah, right on, all right. So uh, what should we expect for size? Are two pounds? Yeah, it should be about two and a half pound average. That being said, there are some uh, trophy trout in there. <laughs> okay. And we'll see that in a second. So there are some fish that are up to seven pounds because the old wise ones, they stick around year after year and they just keep getting bigger, <laughs> so. So rules as far as fishing goes, uh, barbless hooks? No, so it's keep what you catch unless it's fly fishing. Fly fishing, since they're catching an incredible amount of fish, um, it's just barbless hooks and they pay per hour or per day. And otherwise it's keep what you catch just because we want to make sure that that fish is as healthy as possible. So if it's caught and released a few times, the person that keeps it could be getting a compromised product and we don't want that. So okay. keep what you catch and uh, don't bring in any minnows or live bait other than our own because we just want to make sure that's a biosecurity uh, risk that's mitigated as much as possible. And you, you supply worms? We got... supply everything anyway, so awesome. there's no point in spending uh, money on any other bait. And there's awesome places to sit down. There's uh, benches and all that stuff. So bring a lunch and something to drink and spend the day out here, right? Oh, it's a great day out on the water. Yeah, well, We're thanks. only driving 15 minutes away. Thanks for the tour. We're gonna jump up the pond to give us some tips on how to catch them. So uh, Linden is the name of the hatchery. Uh, if you guys want fish for your pond, this is the place to go. How did you get a fish already? 
<laughs> That's not a real one. Did you catch it? I'll oh, put it back in. He's already got a fish netted. Crazy bugger. Anyway, I lost my track. So Linden is the, the name. I'll get, the link's going to be down at the bottom. You guys can go yep. check it out. And uh, if you need fish for your pond, like I was saying, this is the place to come. Anywhere you supply all the way to the U.S., right? Everywhere. Yeah, we supply uh, Canada and the U.S., but uh, we just want to make sure that our, our ponds are as supplied as locally as possible, but uh, we can ship anywhere that we need to. Awesome. All right, let's catch a fish. It just like swim. <laughs> like, like I saw a fish jump over here. I was over there. I saw a fish jump over here. So I ran over here, and then it was like just coming in like slowly, and I just grabbed it. <laughs> like fish in the barrel. Yeah. Uh, we're going to give you an idea of how many fish are actually in this pond. Uh, just as a quick note, if you have your own stock pond, you might want to be getting some feed as well, just to make sure that they have full access to a balanced diet of nutrition. The fish are trained that this is the feeding, uh, the feeding ground. But they are hungry and ready to bite, so... Good luck to you guys. I think <laughs> the odds are ever in your favor in this case. Hold on, stop feeding them. They won't be hungry. <laughs> I think there's a couple more in there waiting for you. What do you think, buddy? Great. Maybe we could just like chuck some right there. <laughs> chuck them and net them? Yeah. He's a net man. Swim into the net. Are you fishing again? That's the wrong tool for fishing. Well, it worked. <laughs> it worked. I'll see if there's another one jumped out somewhere. Because I saw one jump out there. Another part of our business is we recognize that everybody wants to know where the food comes from, but they don't all like actually fishing. So we have a secret fishing hole that uh, you can just come. It's a viewing tank. You can stop in. The staff will clean them up right away and you'll have fish that was swimming 10 minutes earlier without waiting in line at a grocery store. And it'll be ready for you on ice, ready for your barbecue. $7 a pound, freshest fish you'll ever get. So obviously this pond is for people who might not have access to fishing, who don't have rods, who don't have worms, who don't want to go through the hassle and frustration of fishing. It's not for everybody, just like a backyard pond isn't for everybody, but it's for some people. So if you guys just want to come out and goof around, this is the place to do it. You know, it's not something that I would do all the time, but setting up a, a pond, setting up a fish pond is like, it's a really interesting thing because it's something I've never done before and I want to learn how to do things that I've never done before. So I'm on the learning curve. I'm on the steep part of the learning curve when it comes to setting up a trout pond. So anyway, I'm interested to see what, what the fish tastes like because obviously sampling the fish and knowing what they're like is a, is a key part. You know, if we don't like how the fish taste and we, and, uh, we can't vouch for them, then why would we set up a pond? Why would we go through the effort? It's like farming, it's like farming. But I think if we can switch our fish on to eating natural things. So we work hard on getting that pond set up where it has a natural ecosystem where they're eating natural feed. And there's tricks to do that. We have to research that. I asked Clark, he said, that's not my area expertise. So we gotta, we gotta ask around. We gotta get some questions, we gotta do some research. But we intend to do that if we set this pond up. And Mark is fired up about this. He thought it was gonna be more difficult than it actually was, but we've got all the ingredients with our pond. We've got a gravel base, it's cold. We got ground flow. We got roughly the amount of depth that we need. We just have to expand it. So we're almost there guys, we're almost there. So at Linden Fishing Pond, like I said, our whole focus is on the next generation being able to enjoy the fishing experience. So we have fishing kids work camp, workshops where we'll teach you how to fish, how to tie a hook, all those things. But we also have two little prizes here. If you catch a fish over seven pounds, we actually give you a trophy, Linden Lunker. Over five pounds, you get a medallion called the Linden Fishing Pond Monster Trout. So you can keep coming back time after time or you can have it for show and tell. You can show your dad that you caught a bigger fish in him. <laughs> it just creates an opportunity for you to be able to enjoy fishing and uh, do that in an environment where you get some uh, some swag after the, awesome. the whole experience. I'll just claim that now. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> that's that's gotta be earned. So, uh, oh, okay, all right. So all right, let's, let's see if your kids get it before you. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm looking at you, <laughs> that man. All right, let's go fish. Sounds good. I try to do one cast first before I catch one. We didn't go in the secret hole though. We would, but not already done by now. Yeah, I know. People that are in a hurry and they want their kid to catch a fish. Oh, there. Hold on, hold on. 
Ready? It's a small one too. <laughs> oh, I lost them. Oh no! <laughs> That's a good thing. We gotta catch another one. Fish! Oh, it got off again! <laughs> that was a pretty good jump. Almost. It's following it. Oh, that's a small one. You gonna net it? Smaller. Get him. Net it. There you go. Good job. Get that hook out. There we go. Well, we'll bleed her out right away. Okay, you can talk to the camera. Hey, so I'm about to do my try now, and hopefully I'll get one quicker this time. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, come on. Casty, casty, casty. Casty road. Yeah. Ooh. Right up there, front. Right up the front. Huh? Dude, let's see. Go. Get the net quick. <laughs> swim right in. <laughs> oh, Holden's got one too. Hold on, Mike. You all right? Holden? Yeah, I'll get the. <sighs> oh, that was, that's, that's a good one. Oh. That is a good oh one. We're on the board now. Wow. Take that's a good go. one, Holden. First fish, or third. First fish of the year. There you go. Biggest one yet. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I'm late. You gonna hold it? No, mine's so the biggest. So. Yours is the smallest so far, Dad. Mine, Ewan's, Holden's. <laughs> 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 so we'll see if, uh, we'll see if Mark can do any better than that. You need to catch one bigger than mine. So I officially can't win anymore. I caught the smallest fish. We decided that uh, Ewan and Holden are gonna get to catch the next two because they've they said we can catch fish. And I know I know I could eat a pound of fish easily, um, but we're gonna try to catch enough so that our families can have a feast on them. So you're, we're gonna take got five. Bite, buddy, you got oh, fish on! That wasn't long. We're all on the money now. Holden's on the net. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, oh good work, everybody. Good job. I got slimed. You got slimed on your jacket. <laughs> oh, we got the underwater camera going on here, too. Okay, let's go see who's got the biggest one so far. So Holden secured his spot as the leader fish here. But I still got one more, so I can get a big you could, one. You could potentially win the five pound award. Well, that's definitely the biggest one. That's a big fish no, compared but, to the other ones. But you, the the biggest person automatically wins this one. It doesn't matter if it's seven pounds. You still get it. You still get it? Yeah. All right. And if it's not five, five pounds, you still get this one. All right. Okay. <laughs> Linden Fishing Monster Pond Trout. Did you catch a five pounder? Mm. No, it was not a five pounder. Did you catch a five pounder? No. So you gotta catch a five pounder and a seven pounder to win these awards. But he said we could just have them. So here's the participation award. I think what, you get the trophy because you caught the biggest fish mm. and you get the, thanks for showing up, but you caught the second fish. <laughs> <laughs> so you get your participation Yay. awards. So you, you won, you didn't actually qualify. I'm gonna make a note of that. You can put that on your on your uh, participation awards um, board. display board at home. Yeah. So we got a deal. If we can dig our pond properly, you're gonna supply with some fish? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, we'll uh, get it stocked up. See if you can catch some some monster trout in that pond as well. And uh, we'll get that ecosystem flowing. Yeah, 100%, man, that was fun. I was actually, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be fun just to catch fish, but it was 
a little bit more difficult than I thought. I just throw it in there, but after like 15, 20 minutes, like, okay, we actually have to present the the worm in the right way so we figured out we had to drag it nice and slow because it's yeah. it's the water's cold right now so there's a little bit of a trick to it but uh if you guys want to bring your family out here it's the perfect spot you're gonna have like fish on the go uh, all the time right every Absolutely. every weekend during the week a whole deal yeah so we're open uh weekends only till june 23rd and then when school's out we're going to be open seven days a week until the labor day weekend then we're weekends only until thanksgiving but we're here for corporate events. If you want to do something different with your company, if you want to do kids camps, um, we're here. Basically, like I said, our goal is to ensure that the next generation can enjoy the angling experience. We just uh, want this facility to be used for that as much as possible. Just uh, a couple minutes outside of Kitchener Waterloo. So yeah. looking forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, and there's lots of people in Toronto. I know you guys are watching, so come on out. It's not a, it's not a long drive. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Big thanks to everybody involved, especially Clark, from Linden Fish Hatcheries. They've been a big help throughout this, been a big supporter of this channel. And I hope you guys will go out, go fish the pond, or order some fish for your pond. However you guys can support them. It's just outside Kitchener Waterloo, not far from Toronto, easy drive, go out there, catch some fish. If you're wondering about what's gonna happen to the pond outside the cabin, it's still gonna happen. As long as I can convince Kevin to bring this backhoe down there, he's gonna dig a pond, but it's not gonna be on the same scale. I've always wanted to have a trout pond, and finally I have that opportunity. But it's on an adjacent property, it's not on the cabin property. So the idea here is we'll have a, probably a small frog turtle pond um, if Kevin gets really, really ambitious about it. As far as getting a trout pond, it's again, it's something I really, really wanted to do, and it, they need certain things. So after going to the hatchery, we figured out that they needed lots of oxygen. I mean, I knew that before, but the water depth, water quality, they're all really big factors when it comes to trout. And to have a healthy trout uh, population or pond, they have to have certain ingredients. And it simply was not going to happen here. So, stay tuned. We will be digging a pond down here. It'll be more of a water feature. Um, if we dig it big enough, I'm hoping we can skate on it. Because that would be really cool. In the winter, once it freezes up, that would be really neat. So anyways, thanks guys for joining me. Hope you'll stick around. If you watch the full video, write full stop. And uh, stay tuned, because there's a lot more to come with this pond build. So since I missed school, um, I compromised with my teacher that I just had to write a written report about what I did there. So here it is, my fish hatchery trip. If you are lucky enough to get invited on a special tour, not available to the public, you will see a lot of fish. First you will see fish at about 10 centimeters in big metal circles. Then you will see 20 centimeter fish in rock rectangles. Your tour guide will throw fish food into the water and the fish will go crazy for the food. Next you will see the eggs. They will hatch fish that will go through the life cycle. After you see the eggs you will walk outside and see the breeder fish. Those fish breed with other fish to make eggs. Once the fish breed the most they can and then they are transferred to the large pond. Once you have completed the tour, we got to fish in the pond and we were allowed to catch five fish. If you pay extra money, they will clean your fish and barbecue them. If you just want to catch fish, then they will lead you to the front of the pond. Why? Because the fish are trained to get fed there, so there are always a lot of fish there. If you catch a five pound fish, they will give you a medal. If you catch a seven pound fish, you will get a golden trophy of a trout. If you are interested, call this number, 519-696-3474 or search Linden Public Fishing. Seriously. Seriously. Good job, buddy. Hey guys, today we're gonna to be getting trout for our trout pond. You gonna be the net man or the fisherman? Mm, both. Both, good attitude. It just like swim, like like I saw fish jump over here. I was over there, I saw fish jump over here. So I ran over here and then it was like, just coming in like slowly and I just grabbed it. <laughs> like fish in the barrel. Yeah.